I think it's quite important to lead in both. Uh, we realize that we OpenAI can do more to help here. So we're going to release an open source model that we believe will be the leading model this summer uh, because we want people to build on the U.S. stack. In terms of closed source models, a lot of the world uses our technology and the technology of our colleagues. We think we're in good shape there. So that was Sam Altman, who made one of the clearest declaration of AI ambition we've ever heard yet. He said we want the whole world on the US stack, from chips at the bottom to the applications at the top. And this was more than just another OpenAI's product demo, right? It's a political play and it's a national strategy which is being broadcast to the entire world. And it comes straight from a Washington Senate hearing on AI competitiveness, where leaders from OpenAI, Microsoft, AMD and Coreweave laid out America's case. And let's break it down. The Senate Commerce Committee held a high-stakes hearing titled Strengthening US Leadership in AI Computing and Innovation. Testifying were Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, then Brad Smith, Vice Chair of Microsoft, then we had Lisa Su, CEO of AMD, and Michael Lindretter, CEO of Coreweave. And the theme was that America must control every layer of the AI value chain, from silicon to software, from model weights to data centers, and from regulation to real-world deployment. Altman announced something no one expected. He said this summer, we will release an open source model that we believe will be the best open model out there. But why now? It's mostly because China is gaining ground. With DeepSeek, you have a Chinese open source AI lab, which briefly became the most downloaded AI app in the world, even surpassing ChatGPT. So the US doesn't just want to win the AI race, it wants to own the road. And this open source move is about influence, standards, and exporting ideology through code. And this is the stack Sam Altman is talking about. We have chips designed by AMD, deployed via NVIDIA and Intel, then infrastructure scaled by Microsoft's Azure, Amazon's AWS, Google Cloud and Coreweave, and your foundational models from OpenAI, Anthropic, Meta and others. And also the application layer, you have ChatGPT, GitHub Copilot, Perplexity, Cursor and many other such apps, where they're all built, hosted and governed under the American jurisdiction. And to reinforce that, Altman confirmed, we gave a copy of our open weight models to the national labs. So this goes beyond just collaboration. It's more or less a strategic alignment with the United States government. And it's a first for any private AI lab. And also meanwhile in India, a sovereign stack is rising. Back in Delhi, India is building its own AI stack from the bottom up, where in the next three to four years, India is set to have its own GPUs that can compete with the world. Sir IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. While plans of building GPU look far-fetched, India's Ministry of Electronics and IT recently shortlisted companies like AWS, Oracle, and Google Cloud under the India AI mission to deploy over 29,000 GPUs. And startups like Sarvam AI are now building sovereign foundation models, aiming to make India self-reliant in the AI value chain. So India's stack includes 18,000 plus subsidized GPUs, for startups and researchers. And you have AI Kosha, which is a government hosted data set platform. And you have 14 GPU providers under the public private partnership. And of course, you have the foundational model grants, where 67 large language model proposals, out of which 22 were shortlisted, and many AI education initiatives across tier 3 and tier 4 cities and schools. And not to forget, even DeepSeek, along with many other Chinese models, will be hosted on Indian servers to address cross border privacy. Look, this isn't just about affordability, it's meant to be about sovereignty, right? And the race is no longer just about building the most powerful model. And it's about who owns the chips, who controls compute, where does the data live, and how AI policies are written. And US wants to be the supplier of AI. And China is making AI open and cheap, and India wants to make it sovereign and inclusive. And as Sam Altman put it, if we don't get this right, nothing else we do will matter. So the world is choosing sides or building its own, and whichever stack wins will define how the next decade of intelligence is built, governed and distributed. So will India align with the US or will China's open source wave reshape the market? Or will India chart a non-aligned path with its own sovereign stack? Tell us what you think in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM where we bring in-depth analysis and stories just like this. So make sure to like, share and subscribe because think AI, think AIM.